All right, hello YouTube. Today I'll be teaching you how to play PC games on your mobile device or phone for free using remote desktop software. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to be using TeamViewer, an app I highly recommend just because uh, there are no strings attached, unlike, say, Chrome Remote Desktop, which I also have. Uh, and uh, it's just all around easy to use. Uh, and has a lot of options for it. So uh, without further ado, I'm just going to go to their website, teamviewer.com, and it will take us to their homepage uh, where they have a download button. Uh, I've already downloaded this, so as you can see, it is one, but it's just an exe file. It doesn't take too long to download, uh, and it's basically just a setup thing. Uh, there's not a lot of options here, uh, that you have to choose. Uh, I guess there are advanced settings, but uh, doesn't really show anything when you click that. So nonetheless, uh, this is the most important part right here. Uh, really, you could choose any of the uh, installation options, but the how do you want to use Team Viewer is very important. Uh, you want to use personal slash non-commercial because uh, company slash commercial uh, will probably prompt you to pay um, at least that's how I understand it because there are business and corporate uh, copies you can buy uh, and they are actually quite expensive. So personal slash non-commercial is free and very easy to use. So click that. Obviously, both of the above will also select company slash commercial. So you don't want to click that. Now, uh, as I already said, I do own Team Viewer already. Um, it's actually right here on my desktop, uh, so I do not need to download it. The accept and finish button in that launcher uh, slash setup thing is really just a download button. And so once you're done with that, you're done with the launcher um, or setup software, and then you actually have a shortcut on your, de on your desktop. So uh, we're going to open this up real quick. And um, you'll notice a couple of things here. Uh, firstly, my name down here is actually blurred out because that's personal information. Uh, and secondly, my ID is also blurred out because your ID uh, is unique to your device and it never changes. Uh, so uh, I'm just blurring that out for, you know, security reasons and whatnot. Of course, there's also a password to actually remote to the uh, uh, device with the ID, but it's only four numbers long. So, I mean, if someone got lucky, they could actually guess this. Um, so just, uh, taking some precautions there. Anyways, moving on. The first thing you actually want to do with this window is you want to go to extras and you want to go to options. Uh, and then you go down to remote control. Now, uh, for quality, Make sure you have automatic quality selection because that actually allows you to see the uh, actual you know PC remoted onto your phone pretty well, uh, as well as being a reasonable speed because this is connection over internet, so there will be some degree of lag. Um, and you will also want to deselect remove remote wallpaper because uh, what the app does when it is being remoted is uh, it actually removes your desktop wallpaper. Uh, not the file, but it does remove it from the desktop. So you actually have to go back and reset the wallpaper if you have this checked. Uh, I prefer not to check it just so that way things are simple. And uh, that's pretty much it for options. So we're going to leave this window open and we're going to download Team Viewer on the phone. Okay, so we're on my phone, and I'm just going to uh, unlock this real quick. Uh, and we're going to go to the Google Play Store, which I already have open right here. Uh, if you're on an iOS device, just go to the App Store. Uh, or if you're also on an Andro Android device, but uh, not a Samsung, uh, you'll go to the Android Store, I believe it is called. Um, that's the good thing about TeamViewer, is that it's on all platforms. So, uh, simply enough, we're just going to search for the app here. It's already in my history because I've already downloaded it. Uh, and a whole slew of apps will show up. You're going to download the one that doesn't have a little watermark thing in the corner. Um, just because 
Uh, that's the one where you can actually remote to your desktop. Uh, the other ones are for like remoting to the phone uh, or uh, they're for support or whatever. So you're just going to download this and uh, just look at the uh, app's features. I already have it, of course, so I'm just going to open it. Um, and once you're in here, uh, you'll be prompted with the team viewer ID, um, which I will actually pull up on my desktop right now. So that way I can type that in, uh, pretty easily. Once again, this will be blurred out, uh, just because of the security concern I have. Um, I already have a little thing filled out, of course. So just to make it easier, I will fill that out. Now for the password, uh, it's simply just the password that's underneath the ID. Uh, in my case, it's 6671. Uh, and we're going to click done. And uh, we are now remoting to the desktop. Uh, now, oddly enough, my actual option did not change uh, what happened here. It did actually remove my wallpaper, but uh, it's not a problem really. I'll just reset that in a few, um, and maybe check what's going on there and make an annotation for it in the video. Um, but, uh, yes, now you are remoting to your desktop and, uh, it's very simple to use. Um, there is a tutorial little box, uh, that shows up, uh, when you download the team viewer app. Uh, which is pretty straightforward. Now, uh, a fair bit of warning, uh, remoting to a desktop uh, means you can't use a keyboard, so I don't recommend playing games that require a keyboard. Uh, this is mostly good for strategy games like uh, Civilization, which is turn-based, and uh, we're just going to open that there. Uh, it might actually take a while to open because Steam is kind of weird lately. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, we are going to open the game. Okay, so it did load pretty fast this time. Um, and yeah, so uh, it works pretty pretty well for playing games like Civilization or really just turn-based strategy games in general. Uh, it doesn't work so well with like FPS games, of course, because you do need a keyboard and uh, this sort of synergy between uh, your two hands uh, to play it. I'm just going to actually skip through all of this uh, and I'll cut to a game of civilization. Okay, so we're in a game of civilization right now. Um, I'm just going to uh, build a city to show you can do it. Uh, obviously, civilization does not require a keyboard for you to be able to play, so uh, it's very easy to do. Uh, and uh, we're just going to kind of scout around. And uh, yeah, so really that's it. Uh, pretty simple and straightforward to do. Uh, very nice to have if you're, uh, you know, in a boring place such as the DMV, as one might find themselves. Um, and uh just a quick little, you know, you could pull this out, have some uh, PC gaming entertainment uh, while you are away from home. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope you guys found this useful or interesting at the very least. And uh, that's all I've got to say. So, uh, goodbye.